Hello everyone, this is Ashley. Um, today I have a project share, um, but first, before we get started into that, um, I just want to say Happy Easter to everyone. I hope you're spending a wonderful time with your family, friends, um, loved ones, or if you're just kind of hanging or chilling around the house, just have a wonderful Happy Easter. Um, and then I guess we'll go ahead and get started into my project shares. So I have quite a bit of cards that I made using some Spellbinders dies that I have in my collection um, that I just haven't had the chance to use. Um, and then also just some dies that I have recently purchased from eBay. And then just a few of them that I made from some scraps or what have you. Um, so I'll show you some of the, plies, the, some of the supplies that I used first. Um, one of them is, oh, I love it. This is gonna be the Precision Base Plate by Sizzix. Please, please invest or purchase this. This is heaven sent. Um, some of the Spellbinders dies that I use on some of the cards, I was not able to use because I did not have this base plate. Um, you know, I had used so many different techniques to try to cut those intricate dies out by using, you know, vellum paper, um, dryer sheets, just so many different things that didn't work. And then I finally purchased this, looked at some reviews and videos on it. Uh, and this is definitely worth it. Please pick it up. Um, I got this at Michael's when they had this 60% off coupon. And I think I ended up paying like nine and change, pretty much like 10 bucks for this. And I've seen these price range from anywhere from 24 to 30 bucks. But um, this is awesome. This precision base plate is awesome, awesome for those intricate dies. So that's something um, that I would definitely recommend everybody purchase if you're having trouble with some of your dies. And then... Um, some of the dies that I did use, um, this is some of them from eBay. So this is one um, from eBay again, sorry about the glare. This is just the ovals or the circles that are stitched. This is also a corner die, the one I purchased off eBay. This is gorgeous, you guys. If you do not have it, please purchase it from eBay. This is gorgeous. And then a Spellbinders, a Shape Abilities Die Delights, the Gilded Gate 2. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous die. I got this years ago at a scrapbook expo. And then these are my Spellbinder Shape Abilities dies. These are gorgeous as well. Um, also check out Shelpa's, uh, Shelpa's video, um, S-H-I-O-P-A. Her um, YouTube channel is Craft Angel Online. She made uh, a video of these um, three Shape Abilities that I'm going to show you all. She made some cards and they were gorgeous. So please check those out as well. Um, but this is the heirloom oval, four pieces in there. And then this is the heirloom rectangle, which has four dies in there as well. And then this is the Victorian medallion three. Those have three pieces and those are gorgeous, gorgeous dies. And then some of the, um, the embossing folders I use, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. This is called Flowers. I got this from Tuesday morning years ago, not years ago, but a couple months ago for $3.99. And the design on them are just so shabby. So I love, love those. Plus these are six by six. So those embossing folders are a nice size. And then some of the uh, stamps that I use for my sentiments. This is the first one. This is from uh, Kane Company. I got this years ago. Um, as you can see, it says cheers, hello, birthday wishes, thinking of you, I love you, congrats, handmade with love. So that's one that I used. And this other one is from Stampendous. Um, this is from, uh, yeah, Stampendous, it's called Say It. So as you can see, it says, I love you, happy birthday, congratulations, I'm praying for you, happy anniversary, I'm thinking of you, thank you. Um, you have filled my life with love, you have brought me so much joy. Just so many wonderful sentiments. And I got this from Tuesday morning for like three or four bucks. So I really love, um, really love those. And then for some of the um, papers that I used, I used um, my House of Roses paper collection uh, by Lemoncraft, which is a company from Poland. And these papers are gorgeous. The quality is amazing. Um, love, love, love that stack. And then I used some Anna Griffin. So I used my um, 12 by 12 Anna Griffin uh, gold foil paper pad. And then I used the Anna Griffin Camellia paper pad as well. Those are some of the designs in the paper collection. And then I used my neutral stack by DCWV. 
Um, I love the colors in here, great quality. And all um, all three of these, the 12 by 12s I purchased from Joann's actually. So, um, and then this one I got from either Etsy, I think. Etsy, Amazon, something like that. So I will go ahead and we will jump into these cards. So the first one, So the first one I made using the Heirloom Rectangle by Spellbinders. This is the card. I love, love, love it. And it's so dimensional, as you can see, a lot of dimension going on. Um, it just says, Happy Anniversary. And I, most of these I stamped out in my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo or my Stays On Ink in Jet Black is what I'm usually stamping with. Um, and you, you know, this camera's not, I'm not camera, but I'm doing it on my phone. It's an older phone and it's not doing any of these cards justice at all. But these are just really, really gorgeous. I love the Anna Griffin paper collection and the designs of the dies. It just really makes it so easy for you to make these cards. So, so simple and easy. Um, it has some pearl glimmer mess all over, which you cannot see. And then the um, cardstock that I used to cut these out, one of them is from Michaels. One of their new, um, their plain papers is 300 GSM, which is so thick that it's almost like cardboard, but I love it. And then the other layer underneath here is actually the paper from Dollar Tree that people were getting a while back. It was that cardstock, that texture pearlescent cardstock. Believe it or not, y'all, it is amazing like i've been trying to find that kind of paper um you know at michael's or joann's and i haven't been able to find that exact texture um so i'm gonna just see if i can order some online but oh my gosh i love that paper and then just have some flowers on here that i purchased from michael's so i really really love this one that's just how it stands that's that card so put that to the side and then my other one I used, the Victorian Medallion 3. And this is how this turned out. And really, because the paper collection and the die are just so intricate and beautiful, there's really no need to add any flowers like I've done on both of these. It's just me being extra. I just wanted to add it extra. But honestly, you really don't need to do anything. Because the paper collections and the dies are just so gorgeous that really it just sets the tone that you don't even have to do it. Um, and then the, all of the insides I left blank because, um, you know, whoever decided to give these cards to at the time, I will finish the inside and write my own personal sentiment. But that just says congratulations. And then all of these, as you can see, they have the same kind of shape. Um, how they're rounded and then the one is the traditional edge. I just use my, um, my corner punch. I just corner punch only two edges and got that look because I really loved it. So there's that one, the congratulations. The other one I used, the Heirloom Oval, that one there. And I love this one too. The colors of these are a little bit more shabby. And again, you do not have to put any flowers, but of course I did. Um, it just says, I'm praying for you. And you can see the dimension on that. And I love that design. It's so, so pretty. You can see that. So, so pretty. And then I'll show you the back. So that's that one. And then this one I used um, the die from eBay. This is that corner die. Got that one. Which is gorgeous. Please purchase that if you can. Um, this is the card that I made using it. This is probably one of my favorite cards. So underneath, I use that card stock from the DCWV Neutral stack that I just showed you all. It's like a taupe, like light grayish color. And then I just use that edge die, obviously, on both of these edges. And then put um, some embellishment of flowers and my leaf die from Sizzix, a butterfly, diamond dust, some pearls, a button, a little birdie, some flat back pearls, a little resin piece. Just so, so much on here. And I also put some um, 
this little metal piece here. You can't really see it underneath. It's on both sides. It's like a little resin piece. I put some white acrylic paint, and that's over that. And then you see some cheesecloth hanging from the edge of that as well. And I did that on both sides, as you can see. Then it has the cute little pearls on the edge of the thank you, and the little pearls on the edge. And then also, not only does this obviously the die cut out, but it kind of embosses. Um, I wonder if I can. Okay, you can kind of see a little bit there in the corner. See how it embosses it as well? It has a little indention, and it just looks so gorgeous in person. So, I love, love it. And this is the inside. Again, very, very simple. Whoever I give it to, I will finish finish the inside. That's just a little the corner punch there. But, I love, love this card. This is my favorite one that I've made so far. And I love that die. And then this one I made with the Spellbinders uh gilded gate two it's not my favorite one but it is what it is um you know i'm going to dress it up as i go along whoever decides to give it to but i made a belly band just to keep it together and it just says congrats so let me pull this band up so you guys can see the bands it says congrats with a little medallion cut out on there And then I just adhere both of the Gilded Gates on the side, each one. So it opens like this. And then I'll bring this closer because on each side you can see that embossing folder with the floral print. I use it on both sides. And then I'll just put some strips, some flowers, and a piece of the die here in the middle. And then I'll write my sentiment there. And then also on the sides here. That's the other, um, that's some more of that embossing folder with the flowers. Okay. And then that's just the back with the plain card stock. And yeah, that's the Gilded Gate. Um, and like I said, whoever I decide to give this to, I'm definitely going to embellish a little bit more and add some, some more, you know, flair to it. But this is just kind of give you a basic um, idea of what the base of the card will look like. So there's that one. And then my next one, I just used this one from eBay as well. This is the circle die, the stitch circle. And this one, um, one of my favorites. I love it. It's kind of shabby, very toned down colors. Um, it just says, I'm thinking of you. And you can see some of that diamond dust reflecting off of it, which I love. Some of that um, trim, my leaf die from Sizzix, the flowers, resin pieces, a button. I put some white acrylic paint on and these leaves, they're not, um, they're originally green, obviously, but I have, um, I used some acrylic paint and just dabbed it with my hand and kind of toned down that color a little bit. And you can see the stitched edges there around. And like I said, my phone is obviously not doing any justice for any of my cards. They're really not. Um, and that's just the inside of that. But I just love it, love it, love it. Probably one of my favorite ones. So shabby, shabby. And then my last one was kind of made um, from scraps, if you will, but I thought it turned out gorgeous. Um, so I actually have the card stock, and you can see I edged, distressed the edges on three layers of that paper. Then I stamped happy birthday, and it stays on ink. And then I just added um, some extra seam binding that I had left over from my gatefold card, a butterfly. Um, a little resin piece that I put some white acrylic paint over. Um, you can see some of the, um, I can't think of the name. I just said it, but I can't think of it at the time. But just some more flowers from Michael, some little bit of rosettes, um, a paper doily from Tim Holster's just doily dye, just a half of that that I had left over. Um, some little rosettes that I've had in my stash. And then I sprayed it with the Pearl Glimmer Mist. So cheesecloth, that's what it's some cheesecloth. I couldn't think of it at first, but just some extra cheesecloth in the middle of it. You see some of that diamond dust all around. And I just stretched the edge of this. And then the inside is pretty simple. It says, today I want to say, then there's a strip of a few, the other paper design. So that's just how this turned out. Just kind of some scraps that I had left over and I thought this card turned out really, really good. So I placed that one there. But yeah, those are um, all of the cards that I made with my dies from Spellbinders or my eBay dies or just some that I've kind of used for my scraps. 
But um, yeah, let me lift this up a little bit so you can get closer to the cards a little bit. But yeah, those are all of my cards that I made. I had a blast doing them. Um, definitely check out some of those dies on eBay or check out some of the Spellbinders dies. Um, or just get some inspiration of, um, you know, on Pinterest or here on the YouTube, um, you know, of, of ideas to make cards with. So, um, yeah. Um, if you all like my cards, please subscribe, comment. I would really appreciate it. I love reading them. Um, and just thank you for everyone that did, you know, that, that, um, that supports me. I really appreciate that. And again, everyone have a wonderful and blessed, happy Easter. Be safe. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.